is an, addi an additional video if you're looking for uh, another example of, of composition uh, of functions using word problems. All right, so in this case, here's what's going on. Hey, there's a zombie apocalypse, and before the zombie apocalypse, you buy a pallet of beans from a supermarket for three dollars each. All of these uh, these be beans, uh, cans of beans. Okay, and then there was also a, an extra cost involved with this purchase, right? So you went and you bought the beans. You bought, we don't know how many you bought. That's going to be a, a left open. We'll leave that as a variable. Okay, but you spent three dollars for each can. Okay, and then you also had to spend twenty-five dollars to get them to ship all of the cans of beans to you. Okay, then the zombie apocalypse strikes, and you have all of this food, and everybody else needs food, and you say, you know what? I am going to sell these cans of beans to people for nine dollars and fifty cents for each can. And so what we want you, want, to, want you to do is to write a function that represents all of your costs, everything that you spent, okay? And then we're going to write another function that represents how much money you make, revenue. How much money did you make selling the beans? And then we're going to write a function that represents profit. So if you haven't done any, a lot of business-related uh, transactions, to find profit, we're going to take the cost, that m amount of money that we spent, okay, and we're going to subtract that from the revenue. Whatever's left over, that's our profit, right? How much money we have to put in versus how much money we get out, right? We, if we compare those, that's going to be our profit. Okay, so let's start off. We'll do it in small steps, okay? And we're going to call the first one. Okay, that's talking about cost. We'll call that C of P. Okay, the price right, for our cost. So it looks like I'm spending three dollars per can of beans. Right, each in this case. Each is a good keyword in math. That means that we're probably going to multiply. Right, so it takes, I'm going to take three times the number of cans. Right, I'm going to write up here just so we know that P represents the number of cans. Right, so we don't get uh, get lost with all the letters. P is the number of cans. So I'm going to say. Uh, my cost function is three times the number of cans plus I have another expense right here where they said right here uh, that I needed to pay so, uh, somebody I bought the shopping cart to transport the beans and that was twenty five dollars that is also a cost okay so I'm gonna add twenty five I'm not gonna attach a P to this one because I'm not paying this for each can of beans right the number of cans of beans doesn't matter this is called a flat cost right so I'm paying a cost per can of beans three dollars and I'm pay paying a flat cost right so this is made up of two different costs the number of cans plus the transportation so this function right here 3p plus 25 this represents uh, how much I'm gonna have to spend to get these items okay the second function that is now saying revenue so I'll call that R of P right because this revenue is still related to the number of cans of beans and it's saying I'm gonna spend nine dollars and fifty cents for each can and that's it I'm not making any money off of anything else except nine dollars and fifty cents for each can. So there's that word again, each. Okay. So I'm going to say in this case, nine point five times the number of cans that I sell. That's where I'm going to make my money, and that's all. Nothing being added or subtracted to this one because there's no flat uh, revenue source. There's not, not, some, someone's just not going to walk up and say, "Here's a hundred dollars," and that's it, right? So we, that's not happening here. So we have no plus or no minus on our, our cost. Okay. So now I'm going to be asked to represent a function, uh, to write a function that represents my profit, right? So let's call that, uh, we'll call that F, right? Big F of P. Okay. And I'm, that's going to be represented by taking my revenue, how much money I made, R of P, and subtracting from that how much money I had to spend, right? So if I make a ton of money, I need to subtract off all the money I had to spend, right? So in this case, I'm going to say that is represented by C of P, right? So if I take revenue minus cost, okay, that's going to give me my profit, which I'm calling letter F. We can call it whatever we want, right? <clears throat> so in this case, it looks like F of P's function is going to be 9.5P minus, and be careful, I'm subtracting the entire 3P plus 25. Okay, so this has to be in parentheses. Okay, so if I simplify this, and this is important because this minus sign is going to be attributed to both of these, right, when I'm uh, actually going through and combining. So it's going to be 9.5 plus negative 3 or 9.5 minus 3. Looks like it's going to be 5.5p, okay, minus, uh, and that's a 25 in here, okay, minus that $25, right? This function right here represents my profit. So this is how much money I spend, this is much how much money I make that I get in after I'm doing all this selling, and at the end of the day, how much money, how much profit did I make? It looks like $5.50 per can, 
but I have to take away that $25 from the transportation, right? So that's my function. So it's asking me now to use my new function to figure out how much profit I'm going to make from selling 19 cans of beans, okay? So I'm going to actually, inst I'm not going to go through and say, well, okay, well, I just, I bought 19 cans of beans for $3, and then I had this cost, and then I made nine fifty off of 19 cans of beans, and now I can subtract the dollars. You could do that. But we have this brand new function here, which represents profit. I don't need to go back, plug the 19 in here, separately plug in the 19 into cost, and then do a subtraction for each problem. I did all that work once in my composition, right, in putting together these functions, and now I'm just going to take this new one, and I'm going to say uh, f, which remember f for us represented profit function, okay, of 19, because I'm selling 19 cans, and that's what p represents, number of cans, is equal to 5.5 times 19 minus 25. Okay, so again, 5.5 times 19. Let's find out how much that is. 5.5 times 19. It looks like $104.50. All right, so it looks like on the beans I made $104.50 of profit, but then we got to take away the $25 for transportation. All right, so if I do that minus 25. Okay, let's make sure we get the number right. That's going to come out to be $79.50. So it looks like my profit on 19 cans of beans is $79.50.